Hi, my name is Jason Shapiro. I'm an instructor here at Intertech, and today I'm going to show you how you can open up your iOS app from a web page. So let's start by creating a very simple demo. We'll just make a single view application. Call this Open App. Now I'm just going to leave this set to the iPhone for the device, but you certainly could uh, set this to be an iPad or Universal. Create that. And let's just set up our initial scene with a label so that we know everything worked properly. Just grab a label here. Write the word success. There we are. So if everything works fine, we should uh, see this success label in our application. So how are we going to do this? Well, what we have to do is create a custom scheme. Now, a scheme is a part of the URL, such as HTTP colon slash slash. And we're just going to make up one for our app. It's that simple. And the, where, the place where we do this is in our supporting files. So I'm going to open that up. And you'll see that we've got a plist file, our property list. So that's typically going to be the name of your application, dash info dot plist. So let's add our scheme uh, to this file. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to do a right click or a context click and select add row. And it's going to give us a whole bunch of keys as options here. We want to go down near the bottom and we want to select URL types. I'm going to click enter. Now let's open this up. Here we'll see a item zero. You want to open that up as well. And there's our URL identifier. Now the URL identifier is not part of the URL. It's, it's a unique identifier for this scheme or schemes that we're about to make. Um, so just like when you create a bundle name or a namespace or a package, uh, we typically take our domain name and reverse that, at least for the base of that identifier. And that convention is used here as well. So I'm going to double click on that right side here and type com.intertech.oxygenblast. Just as a side note, if you're not familiar with our Oxygen Blast, these are free seminars that we give uh, online. And uh, you can find out more information about them on the intertech.com website. All right, so now we have our identifier. I'm going to go back up to the item zero and I'm going to click on the plus. That is going to give us a list of names here. We want to use URL schemes. And I'm going to hit enter again. Now, uh, we don't put the value right on this line. So you're going to want to open up the URL scheme. And you'll see that we've got an item 0. So as you can tell, we could add another scheme if we needed to. But we just need one. So here in item 0, I'll double click. And we'll put our actual scheme, which I'll just say, make it short, oxyblast. Now, you don't need to put the colon slash slash. In fact, you shouldn't put the colon slash slash. Hit enter. And now we've got our scheme that will launch this application. So let's run this. And as this loads, we should see the name success. Perfect. Now what I'm going to do is click on the virtual home button here, hardware home in the simulator. And we're going to go to Safari. Now, I haven't made a web page, but you can imagine that um, I could have an ahref link that would do exactly what we're about to do here. So I'm just going to put oxyblast colon slash slash and hit enter. And as you can see, it launched our application. And that's it. That's simple to be able to launch an app from a web page. So what else can we do with this? Well, you can also collect any of the information that's on the URL. So let's uh, stop this for a second. And let's go into our app delegate. And we can add a new method to this app delegate, minus bool application. And we want the second method right here. It's called handle open URL. And that's going to give us uh, the URL that launched this application. So just to show the, how that works, I'm just going to do an NS log. This is the URL. And let's return yes, just like our did finish launching with options method so that everything continues. And let's launch this again. And now what I'm going to do is just add a little bit more information. So we'll click on Safari. We'll go to Oxyblast. Here is more info. 
All right, so now what we should be able to do is parse through that string, essentially. It's a little security here asking if we do want to open this. Let me say yes. Now it's a success. And if you look down at the bottom here, you can see that we have the whole URL, which we could uh, start to parse through. So that's it. That's how you can open up your iOS apps from a web page.